In this video, I'm going to talk about patch operation in XML task. Basically what the patch operation does is, it just takes the diffgram file and apply those changes to the XML document. Okay. For example, let us say you have two files. One is source and another one is uh, target. Okay. In the source, you have two extra nodes, which is not there in the target file. When, when you compare, you will, you will see that those two changes and you wanted to take those two changes and apply the changes to the target file. Okay. And for that, what you would be doing is first you compare those two files, prepare the diffgram file, get the changes, those two extra nodes from the source XML document. And after that, use the patch operation to apply the changes to the target file. When you apply, then the target file will would be same as the, the source file. Okay. Here you would be, you would be seeing the diff option as well as a patch option. But if you have the XML diffgram already, then you don't need to uh, use the diffgram. Sorry, the diff operation. You can just directly apply the patch to the uh, XML document, which is target XML file here. Okay. So let us create the package. Drag the XML task. I have created the source and target file. Let me show you the differences. I'm using WinMerge tool to find the differences. This is my source file and this is my target file. Okay. And there is one extra node in the middle of the document in the source file. And there is also one more change at the end of the document. So totally I have two extra nodes in the source file, which is not in target file. Okay. The, my first step is get the differences, get those two extra nodes and prepare the diffgram file using the diff operation. Okay. Here I'm using diff option to get the diffgram file. I'm not going to change anything here. I'm using I'm going to use the default option for the diff options. File on difference files, save diffgram. Yes, very much. We needed that for the patch operation. And diffgram file is going to be new file connection. And my input file is going to be target file and I needed to specify the secondary second file here which would be source file output nothing so as you can see I am going to compare target to the, to the source and get the differences in the diffgram file. That's, that's what this, this diff option is going to do. Okay. Save it. And if I run the package, it will create the diffgram file as you can see. Okay, it prepared the differences. This is one extra node it found and this is another extra node. Okay, now let's use another XML task and this task will take the differences and apply that to the target file. Okay. So I will disable the first task because I don't need that. I, I already got the differences file, the diffgram file. Okay, double click the XML task. Now I'm going to use patch. Okay, in the patch, I need to specify the target XML file to which file I wanted to apply the differences. And 
I need to specify the diffgram file in the second operand. Okay, and I'm going to collect the merged XML file into a separate file. Okay, save operation result. Yes, and override destination true, and the new file, the merged file. I'm going to create that patch XML file. Okay, so as you can see here, I'm going to apply the patch operation on this file. Whatever the differences in the diffgram file will be applied to this file, and my the new patch file, the combination of the the source and the differences will be created in this file. Okay, if I run the package. Let's save it. If I run the package, it should create the patch XML file. As you can see, in the patch XML file, this is the extra node that it inserted. And also this node. Okay. Now we can compare compare the files. So these were the files initially we used. So it has got the two differences. I'm, com I'm comparing source versus the target files. Okay. Now I'm going to compare the source versus the new patch file. As you can see both are same. There is one change but it is not really a change as you can see the node closes by itself but here it's empty node both are same okay I hope you got it that's pretty much it